Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Black Sails Season 3 Episode 5. So, we have uh, Flint and his crew are captured by a bunch of runaway slaves um, that have made it away and have built up their own their own colony in the mountains, which is uh, pretty cool. Like, I mean, and I don't really blame them for, for what they're doing to people, where... I don't fully agree with the eye for an eye mentality. Like sometimes you can, you can improve by like, you know, not trying to do what others have done to you, kind of thing. But that's what they chose to go with. They, they hurt pirates and other people that show up on this island in in gruesome ways in order to get information and make sure that their their colony is safe. And I get it to an extent, but like I said. I do think that there's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of, like, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated kind of thing that you could, that you could do and, and maybe prove that you're different, you know, but anyway, uh, we found out that the, the leader of that place is seemingly the wife of, uh, Mr. Scott, so that's going to be interesting to see, hopefully, if Mr. Scott was shot, Hopefully he's not dead. I think we saw them, like, loading him onto the boat, so I'm wondering... I could be wrong about that, but... I'm wondering if that means he's gonna be brought all the way to where where the runaway slaves are, and, and if they're gonna be able to treat him, and, and, and stuff like that. But uh, we also had Vane and Teach make it away from, uh... From that line they used to fire ship, and... And I, I think they destroyed, straight up destroyed one of uh, Woods' ships, right? Because it, it, like, ran into it, and, like, there's no recovering from that. Um, I don't know how much of those, like, fire spewing everywhere. Like, even on Woods' ship, there was some fire that was spread. So I don't know what kind of damage is on the rest of the ships, too. But, yeah, they managed to, they managed to get away. So now Woods is free to just take on Nassau, even though a good chunk of the pirates are gone you know, he and, and stuff like that, but, um, we also had Jack, who stayed behind, so, a lot of interesting things, things happening right now, it's, it's pretty crazy, and I'm looking forward to seeing all these different storylines kind of, kind of play out in, in what happens with them, right, so, yeah, let's get started, guys, we're gonna start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes. I am... My my typical routine of cleaning my glasses. Because I didn't do it before I started. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> that was a... Yeah. Flint going through that shit. Yep. Not good. Not good at all. And also, my glasses aren't very good still, but they're better, so they'll do. Yeah, that's uh gonna be really interesting if like Mr. Scott shows up on the same place where Flint and, and all of them are and like sees them and I wonder like how much he knows of what his wife's been doing. Uh, 
All right, here we go. No, not, not dogs. Death. All right. What is that? Someone shooting off some... Oh, people approaching. Is that, uh... They, they blew that before when they approached the last time, so... Yep, and they're gonna have Scott. Oh, shit! Is he alive? Or is he dead? Are they gonna catch a look at his face? Mr. Scott? Yep. He looks like he's still alive. Well. <laughs> I wonder if Flint just saw a little bit of opportunity there. Okra Coke. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was going to say, Vane is probably like, what? Interesting. Oh shit. What is that? It's 
Spanish. Well, shit. Oh, shit. Piracy, baby. Ain't no rest for the wicked, baby. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I didn't realize that they avoid avoided Spanish ships. Obviously the galleon was different because the galleon, like, was... Approached, right? They didn't go after it, is what I mean. They went after it once it was already, like... A whole dealio. Oh, who let him out? Okay. I wonder how effective those treatments were back then, like... Like, whatever that stuff she was putting on him, I don't know anything about that, so... <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Flint just heard it for the first time. Okay, so the camp already existed when when he got involved. Damn. Well crafted, man. Damn. So Flint, teach them. 
how to be a pirate. <laughs> yep. Damn. Damn. Okay. So it's not it's not etched in stone yet. That's what that's what he wants, but He got the knife. Oh no, Jack's whorehouse! I imagine that stuff isn't allowed under official regime. Okay. All kinds of official business. Good old insurance. Insurance companies make me want to rebel too. Okay, so the gold is still here. At least most of it. Obviously, minus whatever, uh... Yeah. So they left. Interesting. <laughs> you you haven't even picked your piece yet. I say he took the part into. Ha <laughs> All right. The 
Max making a place here. So what are they up to? What did they put as their it seems like they have to put like what their what their jobs are, like what they're capable of. That one dude said sailmaker or whatever. My nose is really bugging me tonight, it's like super itchy. Huh You're no longer paying me. Oh boy. Does Max know yet that she was there? By that reaction, I'd say maybe not. Damn. Okay. Bless it or be a part of it? Okay, I was gonna say. Damn. Is she, though? Yeah, I guess she was kind of a part of Jack's crew, but I don't know if I'd... I mean... I feel like Max is as much a pirate as Eleanor is, right? All right. I don't 
even remember how Hornigold knew where to find her. They might have showed us, but I, I can't remember. Take it on the Spanish ship. Oh! Teach kicking some ass. Decent little sword fight going on here, Vane. Guys, putting up a fight. Oh, not putting up a fight anymore. Damn. Well, she is. Oh, he's still kind of alive. Is Teach not gonna like this? So he understands him. Nice. I hate that this pirate is more well versed in multiple languages than me. I'm just kidding. It's not like they've been pirates their whole life. I'm sure he had a proper education. He was a slave. But how young was he when he was a slave? Interesting. All right, that's his daughter. <laughs> that face, that was great. Oh shit. John seeing some opportunity, baby.
going to be a very tense conversation we're going to have here. <laughs> this is kind of funny. To be fair, I think Flint makes a lot of hard decisions for the crew. Like, he has had some selfish moments, right? Do it. <laughs> oh, they're like friends. Oh, shit. This is why you kill without learning their story. Vain, showing a little bit of compassion. Interesting. What are they carrying? Does he not even know yet? It's gone. Well, shit. What is happening? Who was that? Why did he kill himself? What documents did he burn? Time for Max to weasel her way into this guy's life now, right? What is with this lady? 
they always pan to her, and she's always, like, eavesdropping, and... <laughs> Eleanor, like, where did she get this? She figured that out fast. <laughs> well, she talks a good game. Interesting. All right, are we going to get the conversation this episode? Between Flint and the leader here. <laughs> hmm. We need, we need Flynn to put on a performance, is that what he's saying? No need to sacrifice your life. Okay. I think it's time!
What? Did he leave the knife? He did. Nice. Leave absolutely no chance for them to, like, find it and ruin everything before it starts, right? What is it going to be? <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit, that would be badass. I am Captain Flint. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, oh, that was so good! Free the slaves. <laughs> oh, Flint, you are so good. Damn. Okay.
Oh. Interesting. Not yet. But what if you meet up with Flint? Hmm. Interesting. Is it the lady? Oh. The one we keep panning to? She the spy. Holy shit. That is a lot of things. Um There it is. Oh. There it isn't. Oh. Interesting. So is she the spy for Spain? Shit. Well,
so they they know about it now. <laughs> well, sorry to say, but Anne and Jack already left with a big portion of it, so... Oh boy. Okay. This isn't all of it. This is only a third of it. Or half, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. And then we jump to Anne and Jack, of course. Oh no. He needs to give up the name Jack Rackham. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Jack wants to go back and they want the rest of that. They know about it. Oh, he's going to lose all his money too if they go back. This isn't good. So wait, is he going to get the pardons and then coming back? I need to go rewatch that. I was too busy. Oh, okay. He succeeded. Nice. <laughs> Helping him put his jacket on. Alright. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I love you, John. Oh, man. Ah, they're getting so good together. I love it. I love that progression. That's great. <sighs> All right. Damn. Okay. We have to get main. That is it, guys, for episode five of season three. Oh, man. This episode is fantastic. Like, just that conversation alone between the you know, queen of this place, and, uh, Flint was, was just amazing. Like, I, I loved his line, like, everything he said was just so good, like, talking about how, like, England has taken so much from both of them, if they work together, and then all the other slaves see that a team of pirates and slaves allied together, you know, are fighting back, they'll fight back too. And, like, what is England gonna do when, you know, the slaves that essentially are doing all their hard labor, maybe not all of it, but a lot of their hard labor for them, like... Are, are no longer doing it, are revolting in a way, you know, like, um, like, what are they gonna do? It's gonna, like, it's probably gonna halt progress for a little bit, you know, uh, and, and stuff like that, but, like, not even just that, like, it's, it's just the fact that, I don't know, the way, the way he said that was so badass, and she was like, what makes you think those pirates that took pardons will, will fight back, and he's like, they rallied with me while I was alive, and then they they caved in while I was dead. Well, I'll just have to return from the grave, or whatever he said was so fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, that was so good. Oh my god, that was amazing. I loved it. Every minute of it. Um, and then freaking John at the very end, that was great, just being like... Just being like, I, I don't want to say this, but I didn't think there was a chance in hell that was going to work. Oh, man. But, yeah. So. So they're going to be going and finding Vane and Teach and, and that crew that they got, which, I mean, obviously that's necessary. They have, what they say this episode? Five ships? You know? Not counting, like... I don't know what's going to happen with Jack and them, but, like, what if Jack... There's no way Jack's going to get back to Nassau in time. There's a bug on my hand. Um, there's no way Jack's going to get back to Nassau in time for, like, Vane and Flint showing up with this, like, rebellion, like, this assault, you know? There's no way, because they're only, like, a few miles back or whatever he had to go. Um, but I'm just wondering, like, if he hears about it somehow, you know, and comes back. Uh, so I wanted to see what Jack says before he walks away. Yeah, she says we beat the game, we win, and you want to go back. And he says, you stay... Maybe it's better that way. You can watch the money. I'll return within a few hours. We'll be on the water by nightfall. I'll meet you here. Stay off the road. Okay, so he didn't actually say what he's going to do then. Right? He just said, you stay here. So, is he able to get a pardon for her? Like, that's the only thing I can think of that he's going back for. He wants to keep his name. He's fine with leaving Nassau. But he wants to keep his name. In order to keep his name, he needs a pardon. So he's going back to get a pardon. Is she just not going to have a pardon, but he is? Or is he able to get a pardon for her without her being there to sign for it, you know? I'm not sure. 
I guess I guess we'll see. I guess they handed out like an envelope of like blank pardons before, right? And and stuff like that. So maybe they can just give the pardon and then she can just fill in her name or something and sign it the way it needs to be or or whatever. So we'll see. Um but yeah. Uh he said just a few hours. So there's absolutely no way that like him being in Nassau is going to coincide with them assaulting it, right? But I wonder what's going to happen. Like, him being in Nassau, are, is he going to, like, hear something about, like, part of the the gold being missing, like, talking about his cash, and then he's like, shit, I gotta get out of here, you know? Like, they, they know about it, I gotta go, or something. Like, is this going to be a good thing that he's going back, because then he's going to be aware that they're being pursued, and they can act accordingly? Or... Is this going to be something where he gets caught by surprise and he gets, like, captured? Because there's no way Eleanor doesn't make the connection that Anne and Jack left. And, you know, when Max had half of it, who has the other half? Who was the closest to her in the end, you know? Um, so if she sees Jack, they're going to know and they might take him and, and that's going to be a problem. And then maybe Anne has to give up the money to save... Uh, to save Jack, possibly, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But, but yeah. So, we had uh, Vane and Teach taking on a Spanish ship, which is something that they don't normally do uh, because of fear of angering Spain uh, in protection of Nassau. That's why the pirates never went after Spanish ships. But... They don't have to worry about protecting Nassau anymore, so let's just go after it. And they seized a ship that happened to have a lot of documentation regarding Nassau and Vane and all kinds of other stuff that that one guy was just burning before he killed himself. I guess, like, I guess he killed himself so they couldn't get the info out of him. Like, you burn the info and then you kill yourself. That's, like, a surefire way to make sure no one gets to find out whatever it is he burned, you know? You can't torture it out of anyone or anything. So it makes sense, but I wonder what information was so vital that he burned, yet he didn't burn, like, the invasion plans for Nassau and stuff like that. And if that's the case, does that mean that, like, the the documents that he had, were those possibly the leaked info about the cash that was being sent back to the king, and now it's not going to get there because of them taking everything here, you know? So maybe Spain doesn't even find out that there's, like, a cache of the, uh... of the gold that has been converted and stuff like that because of this. But I don't know. I guess, like, do we assume that the the Juan guy that, that hired that lady was on that ship? Could it have been, like, the, the good sword fighter? Or something. I don't think we ever got his name or anything. I'm not sure, but interesting. Yeah, I don't know. But but yeah, or, or like maybe the captain or something. But but yeah. So that lady who has been suspicious, like eavesdropping and stuff like that for the past couple episodes, uh, we finally know she was a. A, a spy for the Spanish without even realizing she was being a spy for the Spanish because she thought it was just one of his investors wanting to keep an eye on the operations and stuff like that. So, interesting. All right. Um, I guess that explains why she was being all weird and creepy the, the whole time. Uh, and they kept panning to her randomly, too, and, and giving us little, little shots of her with no context, you know? Um, but, but yeah. Things are going to get really interesting now, guys, with uh, with Flint teaming up with these uh, these escaped slaves and, like, rallying some other slaves from, from other areas and finding Vane and Teach. And uh, it, it's going to be really interesting how we convince Teach to retake Nassau, right? Because he, like, Teach is clearly against the idea of even worrying about, like, Nassau now like he's like oh it's gone whatever like he he's gonna be it's gonna be tough to to convince him of that I think so 
I'm looking forward to seeing what words Flint can use to inspire Teach to retake uh, to retake Nassau. I, I wonder what it's going to be. Uh, I think that Vane, they lingered on enough of the shots here of like him like thinking about those documents, him like talking to that guy. I I, I feel like there is a a part of Vane that does like see Nassau as home and and want to retake it. But I think he just doesn't want to say that to Teach because of, like, the power Teach kind of holds over him, you know? And he wants to be, like, he doesn't want to prove that Teach is right. When Teach was saying, like, Nassau is the the thing that Eleanor has left in him, you know? Kind of like he was talking about his wife saying, like, no brooms by the bed. And now whenever he sees a broom by the bed, he moves it. Um, like, saying that... Vane's love for Nassau is that and now he's like wholeheartedly like being defiant against that because whenever you whenever you tell a man that like a woman has a hold over him I feel like as a man myself I feel like your first instinct is be like no I do this stuff because I want to do it you know you like you don't want to admit it you know so um and I think that's like what he's doing I think he's not being true to himself in order to uh in order to, like, stick up for his own pride kind of thing, so. But, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting what's gonna happen, um, when Flint shows up. I have a feeling the way it's gonna go is Flint is gonna show up, he's gonna try to convince Teach, Teach isn't gonna buy it, but then Vane is gonna step in and take Flint's side, potentially, and then maybe Teach, because Vane took Flint's side, will maybe then he, that will turn his opinion, you know? So that's kind of how I think it might go. But, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this, like, like, this war brewing now between pirates and slaves versus, you know, Woods Rogers and, and everything going on there. And, like, I think it, it could be very cool to see when the pirates in Nassau, like, rally, you know? Um... And, like, I don't if, like, the assault begins and we get to see, like, an attack from the inside, too... You know, like, if all the if all the pirates, like, kind of kick back in gear or something when, when they see it all starting. But you see just, like, a you see a fleet come in with the walrus at the front, and they're just like, that's Flint, it's Flint. And you see them all, like, whispering, like, Flint's alive, kind of thing. And, and then friggin' they just take up arms or something. That'd be so badass. I'm so excited. This show has so many badass moments. I can't wait to see more, but... Yeah, I mean, other than that, the rest of the episode is pretty basic. I like how, like, Flint was willing to give himself up for his men, and even, like... I guess I do have something to say about that. I mentioned it briefly during the episode, but, um... I do feel like Flint, even though he might not always make the most... <sighs> I don't know the right word. I want to say, like, reasonable decision. But I feel like he makes the tough choices for the crew sometimes. Like, obviously, sometimes he's over the top. Obviously, sometimes he doesn't consider their lives as much as maybe he should. But, like, just the instance when they were when they were becalmed, right? I, I feel like they might not have made it through that if Flint hadn't done the thing where they split half the crew to not eat and half the crew eats, you know? Like... Sure, his men could see that as a betrayal, but it's also, I think, like, something that, something that really helped them survive. And I think sometimes that's the key of a leader role, is to do what it takes to help your men survive, even if it's not what they want. Because you can't always trust people to know what's best for them, right? Like, if they, if, if no one was leading those pirates at that time... They would have eaten all that food within the first couple days and then been screwed, you know? <clears throat> but it takes a leader to plan out portions and stuff like that to, to keep everyone um, in line and everything. So, I don't know, with Billy saying that, that, that Flint, this might be the first time Flint has ever done anything with the crew's interest in mind or whatever he said, I don't know if I totally agreed with it, but... Um, 
But I will admit, there are a lot of moments where Flint is very selfish, too, so I definitely see that. But, I mean, they're pirates. Like, I feel like a level of selfishness is implied in the job description, you know? So, but... But yeah, I want to talk briefly about that, Cause I, and I like that John was able to talk him down from his plan of, like, like he planned on going in, knowing he was going to fail, and try to get up close to her with that knife. And I feel like just by the nature of him having that in the back of his head, it's going to make him seem suspicious to her. And we already saw her say, like, if I sense anything from him, you know, that's that's malicious, then I I, I won't accept this deal. You know, so I think, like, John might have been the one that saved Flint here. I mean, it definitely was, because, you know, Flint put the knife away. He didn't even have it on him, so he didn't even have that as an option. He cleared his head, and he said what he thought. And I think, like, there's something to say about coming off as genuine as possible, and I think that's, like, the best way he could have done it, you know? And I think she saw that, so, yeah, that was that was really cool. But, um... The Mac stuff was cool. I like how, like, even though she's not my favorite character, I like how, uh, granted it's kind of backfiring now, but I like how she is good at playing the game, you know? Like, she's, she's weaseling her way into the council. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen now if they're returning Max's share. Is she still not gonna get a seat? After, like, is he gonna take her whole share and then not give her a seat because it's, like, formed from the gold of Nassau, you know? And, and that would suck for Max if she, like, lost her money and lost her chance at the seat, you know? But maybe he'll still give her a a seat, you know? But, yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be interesting to see where, where that goes. I think I'm a little more intrigued now with Max's story than I have been, you know? Like, the Max and Anne stuff never really did it for me. I never really, like fully understood it, you know, like, it was, it was always just a little off to me, but now I think I'm starting to understand Max's, like, motivations a little more now, now that we're on the third season, and, like, it seems like, it seems like all she cares about is power, right? She wants to ensure that she, she's kind of like Jack in a way, where she wants to ensure her name means something, you know? Like, she doesn't want to just become another resident of Nassau. She wants to be one of the people on the council. She wants to be a leader of it, you know? And and kind of like Jack, he wants to leave his leave his name, leave his mark, you know? And I feel like she's kind of the same way in, in that regard. So she doesn't want to... She doesn't want to just become an ordinary citizen. So now that I'm understanding that motivation, I can see how she, like, would would stay behind and ditch Anne and... And, like, do all these things, you know? And, and now she's even giving up her money for power, you know? Like, if she was going to give all that money up, you know, she's doing it just to have a position of power, you know? Because she sees that as more valuable than the money, so. Um, but, but yeah. Interesting stuff happening in this show. I'm super excited for the next episode. I love the speech from Flint this episode, and, and I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to see more of, of that kind of thing, like how the how the pirates of Nassau get rallied when, when he returns, and I'm sure it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. That's going to be it from me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you're not already watching this on there. This was a Patreon exclusive, which means that I watched the entire show, all four seasons on my Patreon, prior to releasing it to YouTube, which means that you can see the rest of Season 3 and all of Season 4 on my Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, it means that something replaced this show, so that means there's probably other Patreon exclusives that you can see on there, too. I'm usually watching several at one time and, and stuff like that. By the time the end of this show is, I have no idea what is going to be replacing it or what else I'm going to be watching, because a lot of the, uh, the other shows I'm watching right now, like Jujutsu Kaisen and Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2, are going to be over by the time this show's over, so... Uh, that means I replaced it with something else. Check that out. Like I said, link is in the description. Should be popping up on the screen. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.